Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. We are the Odds Couple. He's Mike Banner. I'm Peter Loshak. It's March Madness, Wednesday, March 1st. We're talking with Joe Gavazzi from uh, winningsportsadvice.com about a handful of basketball games in college that tip tomorrow on Thursday. And right now we're going to cover uh, ULM and UT Arlington. Now, uh, Mike Brenner, we've talked about UT Arlington quite a bit this year. Uh, they're a team that's primed wherever they wind up in the tournament, 14 seed, 13 yeah. seed, 12 seed. They're a team that might be primed for, for, a, for a margin cover and maybe an advancement, Outright. an upset sure. over Cincinnati, one yeah. of those teams. Uh, so they are clearly the class of the of the Sun Belt right now. Uh, their game against UT Arlington, though, they're a nine and a half point road favorite. Uh, UT Monroe, sorry, uh, UL Monroe. Uh, Monroe is obviously uh, the dregs of the conference, but mm -hmm. you know they haven't been terrible. They actually have a winning record overall. ATS, yep. they're even five and three ATS at home. They recently played Arkansas State, another top team mm -hmm. in uh, in the Sun Belt uh, at fits. home. They lost that one by ten. Yep. They they didn't cover, but that just shows you the range of the games that they're playing. They're showing up, and I'm not totally sure that UT Arlington at this point in the season they've got to be looking towards their thoughts yeah. about the you know the, the tournament sure not sure they're totally motivated to get a double digit cover here this is a real tough one i think i actually might be leaning i don't know ulm i'm not sure what do you think well player? i was looking at it and i was even thinking of doing you know ul monroe on a teaser mm -hmm. but then again because texas arlington what is their absolute motivation i don't know and get I a think, win and get out exactly yeah. and uh so this is why we go to jump and joe yes. he loves breaking this down so with that being said pete as of now it's a pass but i'm interested to hear what joe's got to say joe gavazzi what can you tell us about this game Let's talk about this game because I think it is a very intriguing one as well. Head coach Richard of UL Monroe came into his alma mater and took a program that was absolutely the dregs of the Sun Belt and put them up to the point where last year they had a 20-win season were actually challenging for the Sun Belt crown. But what goes up must come down in college basketball, especially at this level. And now, and now the Warhawks are going through that downer season. They're last in the league. And much like many of the home dogs this week, could be on a little bit of a downer, could be playing a little bit of a possum until they get into college conference tourney play. I want to point something out to you. If you looked at the point spread results from Tuesday night, road teams went 17-4 and four against the spread. There are some towel-tossing home dogs out there, none of whom who covered the spread and some big dogs, all of whom who covered the spread, because these last home game homers are letting teams come through the back door when they're up in double digits. Very interesting time of year and something to keep your eye on, certainly. Mm -hmm. Returning to this game, Arlington knows their only shot at maintaining a chance to get to the NCAAs is winning the college conference tourney. And I don't think the cross, one of the great road coaches in all of college basketball, wants to lose the momentum of the seven-game win streak. Eight of their 11 victories have come by 10 or more points. They're clearly the class of the league. I like Arlington to keep the momentum going. They will not let down here until they're up comfortably by double digits. And I think it's a blowout. Mm. So maybe first half might be a yes. good bet there. Yeah, I they was did play. That also, yeah, they played half. a similar uh, team to a ULM Appalachian State on the road mm -hmm. earlier this year. They won by 16. Yep. So Joe might have something there, and he might have just uh, indicated a first half play that maybe we'll use yeah. tomorrow. Jumping Joe Gavazzi, thanks so much <laughs> for your awesome insights as always. And your website is winningsportsadvice.com. Give a plug for that. <laughs> My pleasure, as always, guys. Love doing these videos with the odds couple and talking to you guys out there as well. You can read my biography and read my articles and read my all-important money management article just by going to winningsportsadvice.com. Those three alone will make you a winner. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. All right, Joe. Good luck as always. Have a great day. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.